Okay folks, welcome back to the Vice City Big Mission Pack. So for the time being, Death Ring can go and fuck itself because it's a pain in the ass. And after a while, Death Ring will become such a huge pain in the ass that it will lead to the death of your ring. Yeah, you really will have a Death Ring on your hands. So before I continue with the missions for Marcus, I'm going to have a go at the FBI agent side mission. Let me just uh, quickly check to see... Oh, I can't. Is it not 15,000 points that you have to score? Tell you what, let's get in the FBI Washington. Since uh, that vehicle doesn't really get the uh, recognition it deserves in this game. So I'll do this before I continue with the missions for Marcus. I noticed that as you complete the SWAT raid missions in this mod, it unlocks the other police side missions. But it appears to me that um, at this point in the game they're already unlocked, but I'm guessing that's got something to do with the fact that this is not the final version of the mod that I'm playing as. Or playing on, sorry. Playing as. Right. It's not that hard to find the evidence. You will be told if you uh, go too far away from it. And if I'm not mistaken, it's not possible to pick up evidence when you're in your vehicle. See, I think it's uh, a total of 15,000 points that you have to score in order to complete this side mission. Just like the Police Maverick's usual day side mission. So we've got uh, an ID card and a phone. One more piece of evidence. Be quiet out there, Seagull. Right. So all the police side missions are uh, different from each other. And here we go again, a classic case of the criminals not dropping their guns when killed. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the money. It's only a small amount and I'm already loaded. When is it moving? It's already loaded. So as you can see, the FBI side mission involves uh, combat as well as investigatory work. The policeman side mission involves um, actually arresting criminals and taking them to the police station. Kind of similar to bounties in Red Dead. The Miami Vice side mission involves vehicular combat. And the SWAT side mission involves uh, on-foot combat, such as uh, going to a group of ambushed police officers and rescuing them. Oh, come on, limo. Police, stop. But you're an FBI agent, Stu. Close enough. Excuse me, when well, this is not the <coughs> defective edition of Vice City. If I'm not mistaken, you get a refill of uh, ammo when you complete a task in this uh, side mission. Just two more, I think. Coolio. Next. So it's always the same, there's a call about a corpse, go check it out, take pictures, collect evidence, and then track down the dickheads responsible. And make sure they never walk the face of this planet ever again. Starfish. From one 
middle island to the next. You were talking pretty fast as well. Just like me. <laughs> I'm a bit like Daryl O'Brien from uh, Mock the Week. Difference being, he's Irish, I'm Scottish. I'm not a crazed gunman, Dad. I'm an assassin. Well, the difference is, one has a job and the other's mental sickness. I like the dark humour from Valve in that one because uh, the player or viewer has left to figure out which is which. What's mental sickness? Assassin or crazed gunman? So first we had fucking crows outside my flat during my, <coughs> excuse me, Rainbow Miser playthrough. Now I'm doing the big mission pack and I've got a fucking seagull outside. Fucking birds. Stop saying fucking. Fucking flappy bird. Alright. Where is more evidence I would like to know? Yeah, more pieces of evidence spawn when you pick up one piece. I'm not talking about the anime though. I must say I'm not really that much into anime to be honest with you. Well I watched a lot of Pokemon when I was younger. Right. Next time I won't miss. Please turn left. Drat. <clears throat> oh yes, another safe house. I hope this car gets, uh, Jesus, a refill of uh, health. Each time you complete a task, you know, just like the helicopter in Police Maverick's usual day. Oh, well, they don't want to get out. Fine. And I forgot, I've got a siren. Don't have to use it. Take out the car if you can. It's either... no, okay, I was going to say either it's bulletproof or it's got increased health. It was the latter. Excuse me, this is the FBI agent, not Cab Mageddon. Oh, I killed you. Sometimes a fantasy whoa Why does it always have to hit me in the middle of the night? Stop it Let me do my show for Christ's sake. Just past the hospital, approaching oh, the marina. Oh, it's him again. <laughs> right, how much do you bet the next pedestrian I run over it will be that exact same guy? There is no escape, and that's for sure. This is the end, we don't take any more. Sorry, officer. That's right, back in your car. Right, just a couple more tasks and then the FBI agent side mission should be fully complete. Where to next? Just outside, Starfish. Right. 
remember kids, if you have a pet starfish, don't ever bring it to a chocolate factory. How much armour packs do I even have? Nah. I am fully loaded already, so no need. By the way, if you ever play this side mission and you have trouble getting the uh, photograph to register, don't stand too close to it. Yeah, don't stand too close to the corpse. If you're too close, for some reason the photo won't register. So I'm guessing you have to take um, take the picture so that you've got not just the corpse, but the uh, background or scenery in shot as well. Remember, you're taking a picture of not just the body, but the crime scene as well. And it's called a crime scene for a reason. Oh, this evidence is ridiculously hard to find, isn't it? Unfortunately, I've got to... Yeah. Then again, another car just spawned right behind me. Right, let's just go to Starfish and get it over with. Here they come. They're driving a love fist. And they've got assault rifles. So watch yourself. And remember me, mate. You'll break my feet. I'll do worse to you than that. Right, what are they driving? <clears throat> Please don't go to the mainland. I don't think they like being told what to do. It's a greenwood. Yeah, I thought more were going to get out of the car. I was right. Come on, get out the way, shitty sentinel. And there's one left. Die. Is someone coming? Yeah. Before that purple square came into view, I had a feeling that car up ahead contained the suspects because uh, it, it was miles away and it wasn't being affected by draw distance, you know? So it looks like... Uh, one out of the four cars doesn't stop when you go near it until it's taken enough damage, that is. Oh. Yeah, take it out, go on. Lovely work, boy. -o. Right, where the hell did they go? Ocean bitch. Come on, let's head to the ocean, bitch. And yes, I realise I'm getting hungry. I saw the notification. Don't you worry. I'll get some munchies very soon. When was the last time I... Uh, it's uh, the chocolates called munchies. I like munchies. Ah, just one guy left. Okay, that's fine. Right, one more and then we're done. So it looks like they're in... It's either a little Havana or Vice Port. Or it could be on the bridge. Let's see if I can find it without checking the map. As in the map at the pause menu. <coughs> I've had a dry throat for a while now. Okay.
I'm an FBI agent. I am highly trained. Don't talk to me about being careful, you patronising twat. If you wish to be patronised further, please call 0800-124-567. And I apologise if it is an actual number in real life. <laughs> Yeah, apparently, um, after the ACDC song Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap came out, um, the people to whom that phone number in the song was registered to, they received a lot of uh, phone calls. Yeah, because the, basically, the, basically the number in Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap was actually a real phone number. Allegedly. Well, the Uzi's not the strongest SMG in this game, but it does the job. At the end of the day, it's a gun. It kills people. That's the object of this side mission. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. Get out of that car, I am facing a fucking moron, get out! Oh god, that video. Oh, oh. Take a bit of care, because I've got a feeling my car isn't going to last much longer. Oh. Come on. Right, the northernmost group is already in Little Haiti. Oh, another car in this uh, particular task that uh, didn't stop when I went near it. Interesting. Uh oh. Right, once I've completed this mission, I will end it by going back to downtown and picking up the clothes icon. And then I'll use my phone to save without going to a safe house, just in case I get a game crash. It could happen. It's unpredictable. You're unbelievable. Great song. Hey. Oh, suspend two wanted levels has been added to the phone. Nice. So I was wrong. Completing the FBI agent side mission unlocks not just the lower wanted level ability, but also the uh, law enforcement clothing. Yeah, I had a feeling I didn't have to go back to downtown to end the mission. I just had to go to any... Uh, Police station. Bloody hell. Right, it's the ice cream factory. But as promised, I will save right here. I've made a backup once again. Yeah, I was only under the impression that you had to complete all of the police side missions in order to unlock the law enforcement clothing. And that's because when I first completed all the police side missions, it just so happened the FBI agent was the last one that I completed. But there we go, you learn something new every day. Right, get your, uh, yeah, get those ready. By the way, I've, uh, in an attempt to uh, help with my dodgy aim, I've, uh, disabled mouse acceleration in uh, my Windows 10 settings, so hopefully that'll make a bit of a difference. And I gave it a shot yesterday, and I, I noticed a subtle improvement. I'm going to take it now, actually. <laughs> Only problem is I haven't got my chainsaw anymore. Great.
you got to love the death sounds in this game. Only problem is they don't play very often in Vice City compared to GTA 3 and uh, San Andreas. I'm guessing that's just a, a bug. I mean, the pain sounds in this game don't play very often either. Again, unlike San Andreas and GTA 3. I'm now going to take a bulletproof pill. Time's almost up. Some twat on the chopper. That's right, get closer. Ah! God, the recoil on the Python is mental. Right. Now, before I order equipment, I'm gonna get some food. I totally forgot. I'm hungry. But once again, the dickhead who works at the donut shop is in the kitchen again, helping himself to the donuts. Plot twist, it's Homer Simpson. Right. I'll order my equipment now then. Oh, and there's the uh, suspend wanted level ability. So you use that to lower your wanted level by two stars. Uh, has it happened again? No, no. Thank you. For a minute I thought the arms dealer glitched out and decided not to spawn. Right, I'd like to buy some more uh, assault rifle ammo. Well, who cares about the donut shop guy, because Cafe Rubina is right here. Get your satiety filled up. What else can I buy here? Fair enough. Please don't do that again. <laughs> So I'll see this arms dealer and I'll buy some more assault rifle ammo. I think he only has a Ruger though. Yeah, not an M4, never mind. I'll probably end up getting more assault rifle ammo in the upcoming mission for Marcus anyway. Right, back to downtown, save at Scumhole Shack, grab the PCJ. What's wrong with the P, Tommy and P, Claude? Now I think towards the end of uh, Marcus's strand of missions, the pink marker moves to the top floor. Wow, a hundred grand. Let's get it all withdrawn. That'll do. <laughs> and again, that's better. You can withdraw it in uh, chunks, if you wish. I should get into the habit of uh, checking the time at which I started recording. Then I would have a better idea of how long I've been recording for. Ah, speak of the devil, it is now upstairs. 
I don't recommend walking into an office building with a gun in your hand. Front page sensation. Oh, it's the general again. Now, I know in the previous recording session I said there are a lot of missions for Marcus involving this general. It appears that there are actually only two. Since when is two a lot? Is what horses eat. General's convoy heads towards the boat hangar. You need to get on this truck unnoticed. Wait for the convoy to arrive and jump on the truck. There were armoured cars, tanks and jeeps and rigs of every size. And the game does of course slow down to allow you to get in that truck more easily. As in the convoy slows down, not the game. The general will go, go to sea on a yacht. You have to stop it. Ooh. I'll buy more pills once I've uh, finished this mission. Trusty sniper rifle, if you don't mind. And this is where the M60 comes in handy. Yeah, I keep forgetting you can't... Uh... I don't know where that was going. You can't crouch while shooting the M60 unless you're aiming it in first person. Weirdly. My M4 back. Is there anyone alive out there? Well, so much for the mouse acceleration being turned off to help with my aim. Yeah, I thought there was somebody down there. Give me time to aim, hold on. Fuck. Okay, it looks like they both died. Oh. Looks like no one is here. The general is trying to escape. No shit, Sherlock. Ladies and gentlemen, this part is very similar. Whoa, hold on. As I was saying, this part is very similar to Gone Fishing from GTA 3. corners. I'm okay. For now I'm okay. I'll see if I can get alongside him and do a drive-by on his boat. Oh really? Yes, that was indeed an unhandled exception. It happened again everybody. There's just no escaping from these fucking unhandled exceptions, is there? Well, just as well I saved when I did, eh? 
Anyway, as I was saying, I will uh, see if I can get alongside the general's boat and do a drive-by on it. Because unlike in GTA 3, you can do that in this game. Yeah, you can do a drive-by when you're in a boat. Can't do that in GTA 3, can you? Now, where the hell was the pink marker again? Oh, bloody hell. Was it not here? Yes, it was. Well then, I went way too far. <laughs> Sarai. And yes, it does look very familiar, sir. Because, as I said a few minutes ago, it's like gone fishing from GTA 3. You could say it's also like Paparazzi Purge. But in that mission, your target doesn't drop explosive barrels from his uh, boat. It would really suck if uh, you end up hitting that lamp post during your jump and you miss the truck entirely. By the way, once I've passed this mission, I will head over to Ocean Beach and buy the SWAT armor outfit, which will give me a nice big max armor boost. Yes, I will lose the plus 25 extra health because I won't be wearing the Versetti, the Mr. Versetti outfit anymore. But it's not much. Right, quickly. Cool. Not a single fuck was given that day from that soldier. Suits me. Bloody guardrail. Bloody Vikings. You can't have egg, bacon, spam and sausage without the spam. Why not? Well, it wouldn't be egg, bacon, spam and sausage, would it? She's got a point. <laughs> I didn't say hit the dirt, soldier. Go away, sheep. I didn't ask your opinion. Right, before I check the office, I'll take out those last two soldiers. With a couple of bullets to the head. Nah, I didn't think you could skip this cutscene. I think you can skip very few cutscenes in this mod. Missed me by inches. So did that. Right. Get a bit closer. Get closer. That oh, still works. Right. I think I'm now past the bit where the game crashed last time. Come on, he's driving a Coast Guard. It's slower than your Predator. I've heard of Alien vs Predator, this is Coast Guard vs Predator. Before he reaches the military base, hell. Fuck, he's almost there as well. Yes! Well played. That was a bit scary. How do we get out of here? 
Is there not a Doc or a Jesse coming up? I'll find it. Let's speed it up again. I hope I'm able to get out of the water here without uh, getting my feet wet. Come on, camera. Okay, and Tommy's smart shoes stayed dry. You're all set for your important meeting later on. And I'm pretty sure the soldiers that normally patrol the military base in this mod have been replaced by the sharks. And just in case it crashes again. Yes. Where's the bridge? Oh wait. This isn't Vice City Stories, you know. My neck cracked again. Louder this time. Right, oh, right. I'll grab the Comet. Because it's a lot quicker than a Kaufman cab. Go away, officer. Oh, damn. <laughs> I was about to say, I managed to get away without attracting police attention, but then that shit happened. Right, as mentioned, I'm going to head over to Ocean Beach and go to Collar and Cuffs and buy the SWAT armour. Um, why is there a Cam Jones icon there? As in the Radio Espantoso icon outside Cam's house. Maybe that's just another another start point for the store robbery side mission. Fine, fine. I mean, I'm so used to uh, starting the store robberies from the starting point in Vice Point instead. <laughs> Excuse me, Collar and Cuffs is up here, you dumbass. No, that's Raphael's. You dumbass. Take two. Here we are. Sorry. So what do the other outfits give you? So extra stamina and less police attention. An even bigger chance to avoid bullet damage in another inventory slot. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. So my max health has gone down a bit. But I can get even more armour and SMG ammo for the same price, you know, by ordering it from my phone. And I'll do just that. Right, where the hell's he going? I guess I'm going to him, instead of him coming to me. Yes. But if wearing this uh, outfit does turn out to be a bit problematic, I'll happily buy the Mr. Versetti outfit again. I'll pop into the pharmacy on the way back to Scumhole Shack and buy some more invincibility pills. Why do I keep on seeing invincibility pills instead of invulnerability pills? Because I personally think invincibility is a bit easier to say. Go 
Go on then. That's balls. I'll get that instead then. And by the way, this is the same character model that you play as during the SWAT raid missions. Yeah, sure, try to save the game when the... Uh, Safe option is highlighted. Best strategy ever. <laughs> 